Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. Um, I have a Virgo-only channel, a Cancer-only channel, and a Leo-only channel. The links to those channels are below. My TikTok is below, recommended readers, decks used. Um, I do a monthly giveaway, so everything that I give away is in the description box below to enter to win just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section be sure to like share comment and subscribe okay click that notification bell I do go live on these channels uh, on this channel this channel and cancer baby I go live um, my phone number is below for personal readings these readings can be vice versa so flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way resonates with you um, it could be energy in or around you so this could be something someone close to you is going through and keep in mind that love comes in all shapes forms and sizes so this could be a friend a family member love interest romantic interest um, so take it as it resonates okay so let's go ahead and get started tell me about virgo please sun moon rising venus tell me about virgo please sun moon rising and venus tell me about virgo please sun moon rising and venus signs for virgo please tell me about virgo please sun moon rising and venus okay we have the devil card here capricorn energy we've got the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy oh i have to sneeze six of swords the justice card libra energy seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune in the reverse so Virgo, this could be your side. This could be your person's side. I feel like someone here didn't want to learn a lesson. They didn't want to see the truth for what it was. They, di they didn't want to um, do the right thing. They wanted to keep the rose-colored glasses on. They wanted to continue to either stay stuck in the past or invest in whatever they wanted to happen. Like sometimes we want something to happen and we don't want to see the negative aspects of it. That's what we want and that's it, right? I feel like this could have been a karmic soulmate, but I feel like someone is starting to realize that it's just not going to work. It's toxic. It's emotionally manipulative, Yeah, I feel like someone here is moving on from that. Okay, I feel like someone here is moving on from a situation where there was emotional manipulation, there was toxicity. It, it definitely looks karmic to me, Virgo. Okay, with the judgment card, the emperor and the eight of wands, I feel like someone is making a decision to move towards a connection With someone that treats them as an emperor or an empress, obviously uh, someone has ascended to emperor level or empress level. We don't read gender and tarot, okay? But someone here is making a judgment call to leave something behind. And I feel like that's moving them forward into this emperor or empress energy. With the death card and the queen of wands, I feel like someone here is ending something with a queen of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Scorpionic energy. Tell me. Yeah, it may, it may have taken someone a long time to see the truth or learn their lesson. But now they're moving towards somebody. Let's see here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We've got Temperance, Sagittarian Energy, and the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups. I, I feel like someone here stayed in a connection for a very long time. Being lied to, being cheated on, you know what I'm saying? Being fed a bunch of bull crap. But with the Sun card now and the King of Swords, someone here is way awakening to the deception. Someone here is protecting themselves. Someone here is seeing the truth for what it is. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone didn't want to let things, something go. They really wanted something. They chased it. They pursued it. They invested in it. They didn't want to let it go. Leo Sagittarius Energy. And with the tower here with the tower here i feel like it's hitting somebody aries scorpionic energy this is never going to work 
tell me about the justice card and we've got the strength card. Someone here is gaining the strength to learn the lesson. They're gaining the strength to learn the lesson, to, to focus on their self-worth and what's fair to them. Tell me about the Six of Swords here for Virgo and the Magician. Someone here is walking away. Someone here manifested something. Virgo, Gemini energy. So someone here manifested something, whether that was true love, whether that was the truth, whether, oh, this emperor manifested their empress. That's what it was. Someone here, this emperor energy manifested an empress. I want my equal counterpart. I want my forever person. I want my boss man, boss lady. I want my emperor, my empress in the throne next to me. And with the world card and the fool card, it was that manifestation that broke someone free of this karmic cycle. Tell me about the king of cups in the reverse. We've got the three of swords and the ten of cups. Interesting. Tell me about this devil card, please. Tell me about this devil card. Ooh, okay. Virgo, you may have a water sign here or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Or a Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but it can be. There is someone here that gives a lot of love. Okay, there is someone here that gives a lot of love. Somebody here that maybe was being emotionally manipulated the entire time. Someone here that was very heartbroken. And I feel, Virgo, that whoever this person is, is going to give to this person the Ten of Cups, the Devil, and the Hierophant here. There is someone here that was emotionally manipulated. It's kind of like, Virgo, there's this energy of someone here was hanging on to the past. And one day they manifested their perfect person, their divine counterpart. I feel like this king of cups in the reverse came in and wasn't acknowledged. It that This person wasn't acknowledged. If anything, they were hurt. They were emotionally manipulated. Um, you know, it was a very toxic connection because this is the person that was manifested but ignored. Do you understand? Because someone didn't want to let go. This is a perfect example of why the divine waits for you to release something before bringing in the new. Do you understand? So in this case, the new person came in, but they were really mistreated because someone here hadn't released the past just yet. This king of cups in the reverse, again, guys, gender doesn't matter, was really hurt in this process. But this is the person that with the hierophant and the ten of cups um, is the, is the Empress, this is the person that is going to get the long-term stable commitment here. Someone here just needed to realize that they had a better option. Someone here needed, but they didn't want to see it. Um, they did not want to see it here. I feel like with the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess and the Five of Wands, this person kept two people in the picture, you know, this past person and this new person. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of argument. There was a lot of things happening here because there were secrets being held while someone was giving a lot of love. Okay, someone here wanted victory. They wanted to reconcile with someone from the past is what I'm feeling here. Because with that seven of pentacles, this is an energy of someone wanting to stay in the past. Someone was waiting for victory with a past person. But with the five of pentacles, this person is gone. Gone, baby, gone. Yeah, seven of wands and the five of cups. And someone here was trying to overcome the heartache of accepting that, that the past person is gone. Meanwhile, I feel that, you know, this king of cups in the reverse here or this empress energy here got hurt pretty badly. Tell me about Virgo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. We've got the lover's card and we've got the hermit, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. The person on this side, when they would sit down and analyze this situation, they knew that there was a strong soul tie energy here, but they also knew the lover's card is a representation of Adam, Eve, and the snake. They knew that there was something going on on the side. They knew that something here was happening. Maybe they couldn't put their finger on what was happening. We've got the 10 of wands. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. This person got tired. This person was putting a tremendous amount of work and effort into the connection. And they've had just about enough. Yeah, see, look, Ace of Pentacles showed itself. Yeah, this person, the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ten 
of pentacles. This person gave their whole heart. They gave all their money, their time, their commitment. This person wanted long term. This person was already at a 10 of pentacles and this person is getting to the 10 of cups. So we're ending with a 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, but this person has already been there and this person's just getting there. So this person's exhausted. Tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo. Yeah, see the sun and the seven of wands. I feel like this person... It could be that there's an offer to overcome and be happy here. So let's see. Hold on. Tell me about the hermit, please. We've got the five of swords. Um, this person, the connection was sabotaged. There was mind games. There was just a lot of fighting, doors slamming, yelling, screaming. So this person had a lot of time to think because they were left on, I was just about to say, they were left on their own a lot. This person was ignored. This person was re rejected, not given the time and attention that they were deserving of. And that's why someone here knew that there was something else going on. Ten of wands, please. We've got the emperor. We've got the emperor. Someone here got tired of being the strong one. Look, we've got the emperor to the empress right here across from each other. Someone here got tired. Tell me about the eight of pentacles in the reverse and the four of swords. This person needs rest. This person needs rest. And what did we see here at the beginning? That the emperor was, someone was, that we had the judgment card, the emperor, and the eight of wands, right? Someone here was choosing the emperor. Do you understand? So this empress manifested. Someone here manifested in empress mode. Now, uh, guys, remember, gender doesn't mean anything, right? But the empress, this person was in their divine feminine energy. Uh, as empress energy, the empress manifests like no other. The empress is a master manifester okay so this person was manifesting their divine counterpart and that's why they chose this emperor this king of cups in the reverse is the emperor and this emperor is actually getting exhausted do you know the level of work and commitment that it would take to exhaust an emperor you can't even wrap your head around it that is how much work and patience this person has put in. This person has felt lonely in this connection. They've had doors slammed in their face, phones hung up in their face. This person is so, they're just exhausted. They're just exhausted. Tell me about the seven of wands and the eight of swords in the reverse. This person ended up finally freeing themselves because they were tired of being pushed away. The sun card and the two of wands, they came to the realization that there is in fact someone else in the picture and I need to just go rest. I need to set myself free of this. So right when this person decides, okay, I want a 10 of cups with this person, this person has already been at the 10 of pentacles and they're exhausted. What outcome do we see here? What outcome do we see here? The nine of wands and the seven of swords in the reverse. Tell me about this nine of wands and seven of swords in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here is exhausted and they don't believe this apology. They don't believe. Tell me about this Nine of Swords in the reverse and this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is this side, guys. I feel like someone tried going back to the past. They tried sneaking away and going back to the past to have a new beginning, and it wasn't happening. So this person is at a 10 of wands for making this connection work, and this person is at a nine of wands trying to bring the past back. So... I feel like that's over. The past situation is over. Yes, yeah, see, Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, it's that the, this person, this past person's like, I don't love you anymore. There, there's nothing happening here between this person and the past. There's no apologies to be had. There's no love to be had. So what's going to happen here between this emperor and this empress? We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse and the Nine of Swords. Someone here is saying, you know what? I give up. I give up. This person's a liar. They're not telling me the truth about anything. I'm tired of being stressed out. 
uh, I'm tired. And then as soon as that happens, we've got this King of Swords energy coming back in saying, listen, I have a plan. There's hope for a future. Three of Pentacles. It's like this person goes from zero to 60. All of a sudden, they're planning a future. <clears throat> the King of Swords, very intelligent. <clears throat> Tell me about this King of Swords. Four of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about this King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, where before they didn't want commitment, now this is all they talk about. Yeah, things were stagnant between you and this person because they had to make a decision about a past person and they're choosing the new. Tell me about this Four of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about this Four of Wands in the reverse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. Whereas before they lied about this, now they're being honest. Now they're coming in with talking about nothing but this, okay? So, yeah, I feel like this person's really closing their their the door on the past. And um, I do see them coming forward. I, I feel, I mean, my question is, though, my question is, I guess it's up to free will. Does this person still have enough energy to keep this going? And I guess that's the question. And, you know, that depends on free will. That depends on free will. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much and take care. Bye, loves.